guys, it's John with hookajohn.com going out for what will surely be the event of the year in the world of hookah. We're on our way to Las Vegas, Nevada right now, going to the Cashman Center, and this event is happening July 8th and 9th. This is called Hookah Expo Worldwide. Just a casual clip, we just wanted to get, make a little intro for you and show you how we're all prepared on our way out. It's Thursday. I talked to a lot of the vendors going out there. They're on their way as well. I've talked to a few, a handful of the hundreds of attendees that are going to be there and they are already there. There are people already there. We got people flying in from so many countries across the world. We got people coming in from Germany, from South Africa, from Australia, from Canada. And of course, the big, biggest presence is going to be from the US, all right? Hopefully this is gonna be a great video. I want you to sit back, relax, and if you haven't, light up a hookah so that you can watch this video. It's gonna be nice and long and show you uh, if you are there, if you were there, you might be in this video. And if you weren't there, be sure to be at the next one because this is just gonna be an amazing event. All right, guys, check it out. Hey guys, here we are in the back of the Hookah John Mobile getting ready for Hookah Expo Worldwide in Las Vegas. Check out all these brands here. Check out all the people here. It's going to be amazing. Talk to you guys soon. Here we go, guys. We are here at the Cashman Center. It is the day before Hookah Expo Worldwide. And we're just about fully set up here. Check out our booth. And if you want to walk around with me a little bit, you can check out uh, this beautiful place. Check out El Fakir is going to be here tomorrow. You guys are all familiar with El Fakir, right? Can't wait to see these guys and their crew tomorrow. Can't, see, can't wait to see what they have set up. Come take a little walk with me and I'll show you guys something else going on. We've got a lot of procrastinators here. You know who's always on time? It's Hookah John, because I want to show you my booth right here. Check that out. Looking great, hopefully, hopefully you guys like. But I will show you another company that's doing really well, that's set up with their booth over here. I want you to just go all the way back another 90 degrees to Ugly Hookah. Look how great their setup looks. Can't wait to see these guys tomorrow. They came in, set it up. I didn't even see the finished product, so this looks absolutely beautiful. Oh my God, look at these. Look at these little hookah protectors. I don't even want to mess with it. Tomorrow we'll come see them and see what their setup's all about. We got Coco Ultimate here, Ultimate Hookah. Way in the background, you've got the Hookah Battle, which is gonna be off the hook tomorrow. All right, guys, that's it for now. It's about halfway through setup day. So we get waiting for a few more people to get here and set up and it's gonna be awesome. So I'll talk to you guys later, bye. Hey guys, it's John with hookahjohn.com at the first ever Hookah Expo Worldwide. Come around, take a look with me and see what we've got going on. This is the first of its kind in the United States. It's an all-consumer Hookah Expo open to the public. So Hookah Expo Worldwide is debuting. Today is July 8th. So it's going on today, day one, tomorrow, July 9th. And we're having Hookah Expo Worldwide. People came from all over the world. We got people from Dubai. We got people from Granada Hills, I think, over there. We got people from everywhere. Los Angeles, Hawaii, Miami, New York, South Africa, Dubai. Check it out. So here we can speed up a little bit and check out some of the brands. First of all, this is our little area here, the Hookah John booth. And we've got a bunch of people hanging out. We're debuting a new bowl. We're showcasing our charcoal and hookahs. And everyone seems to be enjoying it and having a good time. So we're going to continue on down the line and check it out. We got over here. Dubaco from Germany. I haven't even heard of this brand. I never saw it, but we're trying it out now. It's pretty good so far. Down the ways, let's see what else we got going on. Regal Hookahs is here. Regal Hookah, check out Regal Hookah and all the fancy work they do. We get them, everyone's interested in Regal Hookahs all the time. He's even got some versions here that you don't even see on everyday sites. I like that. That's a 
That's like the, what do you call this? What do you call this design here, George? So this is a Melek in black palm. And this is just a, a freestyle, um, like Taula wood. So like, you know, all of our Arabs like to play shish bish, uh, backgammon. Yeah, and so I was like, we gotta do, we gotta do a, a tribute to that. Good work, George. Thanks for coming out, Wood. Thanks, Appreciate buddy. it. All right, so you know what? I can walk through everyone, but I want to sit down and actually have a hookah right now. I don't want to actually go and talk and bother with everyone. Everyone's doing their business. Everyone's chill. They don't need a hookah john coming up and throwing a mic in their face. So go ahead, check out the rest of the video, and we'll see you around. Everybody, thank you for coming out here. All right, this Hookah Expo Worldwide, this is the first event that we've ever done like this. And again, it's possible, uh, made possible by you guys coming out. I don't think anybody in the back can hear me because no one's even looking over. So uh, anyhow, we will, uh, I'll go around and thank all you guys for coming personally, but just want to say thank you again for coming out. Thank you, big thank you to Alchemist for putting together the hookahs for this. All right, thank you Alchemist. All right, big thank you for all the vendors that participated today. There's a lot of them out there and I can't wait uh, for tomorrow. But tonight's gonna be an awesome night. So drink up, smoke up, eat up, thank you guys. We got a beautiful location here at uh, the Westgate Hotel pool party, and we're ready to. I don't want to show you guys the cabanas up close. It got a little windy, so everyone got in. Check out these cabanas over here. I'm gonna go hit these guys up right here, see if they're having a good time. What do you think? Are they having a good time? Are you guys having a good time tonight? You guys look like you're having a good time. All right, thanks everybody for coming. Great night. Glad you guys got. You got hookah. You got drinks. You got food. And we're getting a little bit of rain. It's been 120 all week, and now we get rain. Anyways, good, good. Hey, watch out, that hookah looks like it's a little bit uh, Eiffel Tower. All right, guys, be careful out there. Enjoy it. Thank you guys for coming. What's up, party people? How you doing? Awesome, dude. Thanks for coming out. I really appreciate it. Hope you're having a good time. We've got hookahs. You got it. Thanks. Thanks to Alchemist for putting that together for you, putting up the hookahs. Thanks for you guys for coming out, all right? Have a good night. What do you got? Something private going on in there? You got a private baguette, uh, cabana? Did they, they just don't want to be associated with you guys in there. Exactly. Something is going on behind there. Yeah, really. Who's, who's all in there? Somebody looks like they're probably... You know, it's Vegas, so... I mean... Well, whatever they're doing in there, good for them. All right, appreciate it. Thanks, guys, for coming out. All right, guys, you got it. What's up, dudes? How you doing? Good, good. Thanks for coming in. Good, good, good. Anything to say to the people out in Hookah John land? Why aren't you here? <laughs> You're missing out. I know. That's awesome. Thanks again for coming out. Thanks for having us. It's an awesome time. Beers. Hey, 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 hey. All right, all right. All right, dude. All right, dude. Yeah. <laughs> John! Who yeah. 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 Guys, thanks a lot for that. Love that was fun. Love Love you guys. Man, Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Have a good night. All right. Look at this group here. This, this is the this is the mellow group right here. This is the one. Everyone's being nice and mellow. So thank you guys for coming out. This is a lot of uh, personal friends and family in this group right here. So thank you guys for supporting me. All my friends and family here. I'm missing somebody. Who's missing here? There they are. We got a, some more family over there. Guys, thanks for coming out and helping me out too. All right? All right, guys. We'll see ya. Ah. All right. All right, so we got all these guys in here just smoking away. And it looks like a good time. This is a quiet group too. We got some industry hot shots in here, so I'm not going to name them. Either you recognize them or you don't, right? That's good. Thanks for coming out. Thank you to Alchemist again. They put all this together out here. So thank you, Alchemist. All right? All right, moving along. We can still get some more. We can still go some more uh, cabanas down here. You guys having a good time? Yeah, we're having a good time. <laughs> nice. All right, dude. Thanks for coming. You want it louder? Louder music? Or are we good? Is it good? How you doing, bud? You got anything to say for yourself? And for myself? Um, gosh, you put me on the spot. You put me on the spot. That's Thank okay. you. Thank you. That's a good one. Thank you, dude. Uh, I'm glad you guys came. All together, I, like everything keeps surprising me. The amount of people that are coming in, and also the amount of space that you were able to put together for this. So yeah, first off, thank you and impressed. There you go. Thank you, Sean. Thanks for that. Have a good night. Smoke up. Eat up. Looking for a bowl right now. 
now, so that's what the plan is. So let's all get right. that going. You know what? In all those cabanas we just stepped by, there's a few hookahs going. Okay, perfect. I'll go with uh, mine with my uh, friends and family right there, number five. Okay, right. number five, got that. And KFC is for everything in here? Uh, Alchemist is doing everything. Okay, yeah. awesome. All right. Thank you, man. Have a good one. Check out more cabanas down here. Dude, it's getting crazy out here. Since we're using the microphone, you can't hear the actual music that's going on. But we got DJ Italia out there doing just a great job out there. Let's see if we know anybody down here. Ah, oh, this looks like the group right here. I'll be back to this group. This is a different group. I'll be back. But this looks like the group right here. All right, ladies. How you doing tonight? Thank you so much for coming, having a good time. Where's your, uh, where are your hookahs in there? I can't see anything with all the dancing going on. Yeah! Awesome, awesome, I love it. All right, guys. Nice, awesome. I mean, this is why we do it, just to have fun and get together and celebrate. All right, awesome here. We got some guys here you might know. Who's this guy right here? This guy needs no introduction anymore. How you doing, RB? Good, how are you? Good, doing excellent. You having a good time? Oh, very good time, awesome time. Thank you so much for everything that you've you done for us. I really appreciate it. Did you pack this? The yes, RB pack? Yes, I did. I did. That, I, that's RB pack on 80 feet. Boom! All day, every day, 80 feet. All day, every day, my friends. Trust me. Thank you for coming out, RB. Love it. All right. This is Oleg from Russia. How you doing? Very fine, thanks. All right. All right. Thank you for coming. We got, oh, like a private party in here? A little private? All right. So everything is great. I'm going to walk around a little more, but you know what? Forget this videotaping and recording stuff. I got to go get a hookah and get a drink, and that's it. Thanks for watching this. We're going to another day tomorrow, all right? See you guys. How's it going at Hookah Expo Worldwide? Woo! Woo! Yeah, all right. <laughs> there we go. Special thanks to DJ Italia. Yeah. Where is everybody? The hookah battle starts now, and I wanted to introduce to you guys our judges first. First, all the way from Brazil, we have Nelson. How you doing? Thanks for coming. Thank you. All right. Then we got someone who's missing. Where is Oleg? All the way from Moscow, St. Petersburg. From St. Petersburg, Russia, Oleg. Now the fun part, the people that I actually really know and love more than anyone. George Johnson, Regal Hookah. One of my favorite girls in the industry, Angela with Alchemist. And everybody knows Sean. Everybody loves Sean. Sean Collier. Smoke or pass. All right, judges, can you handle what's about to come in front of you right now? Okay. Stan is here from Russia too. He does the hookah battle all over the world. He's been to Brazil, he's been to Germany, and he does it in Russia as well. This is how many years now, Stan? Six years. Six years for a hookah battle, so he's very kind enough to include me in one of them in Russia, and then he brought it here to the U.S. So Stan, I want to give this to you. Thank you for coming, and we'll all enjoy the battle. everybody, it's Hookah John here at Hookah Expo Worldwide with Team Regal here. You may recognize some of these guys. Does anybody know this guy? State your name and what do you do? Uh, my name is G. I own two lounges in South Korea. That's right. And I help out George because he's my best friend. Awesome. Thanks for coming out. What's your name, bro? My name is Justin. Um, I've been with Hookah for about three years and my favorite Hookah is Regal and I just keep spreading the love and tell them Regal is the best product ever. Awesome. Thanks for that. What's your name, bro? Emil and I do the customer service and social media for Regal. So, excellent guys, you guys have an awesome product here, and I want to bring everybody over to the real man in charge. These guys are support staff. These guys are awesome because they got George's back. You guys all know George Jartson with Regal. How you doing, buddy? Doing good. How's right. everybody else doing? How's Vegas treating you? Oh, uh, you know, same old. It's like work for me. Yeah, exactly. It is hard work day and night here in Las Vegas. It never ends. And then like after party and the after after party. 
No sleep. <laughs> Back to business. You guys have an awesome product here. Everybody knows Regal now. Regal is probably the first American hookah. Yep, yep. You know, there's other people that claim it on their boxes, but you know what? It's not the case. Right. <laughs> exactly. And not only that, he's so legit that he came here to Hookah Expo Worldwide. This is the first show we have, and somebody who's original in this field actually came out here and supported us, so I want to thank you for that. And uh, tell me a little bit about what you got going on here today. So this is the third hookah ever made right here, wow. and it's a Malik in uh, Redwood. That's the uh, that's the one that was made from a recycled bridge from Mendocino County. Down here, this guy is inspired by, um, you want me to bring it up for you? Yeah, uh, it's inspired by like Taula, the backgammon boards. So I want to do that. Here's our standard Joker, Diamond Woods. This one's really cool. We just turned this before the show because we wanted uh, to, you know, show it. It's a Snakewood King, and then of course we show the block of the Snakewood that we have. Oh yeah, it's heavy as yeah. It sinks in water. That's for sure. Wow. Yeah. No, no. You, you like the belly dancers with shamadan on your head. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're doing like some giveaways. We're doing roll the dice. Uh, you know, we're repping Tangiers a little bit, even though he's not here, but we're selling it at House of Smokes here in Vegas. Uh, trays, I just brought in some uh, bohos and something to look good for the show. Anyway. Awesome. Thanks for coming out, George. Give us, tell the people out there what you thought about the first Hookah Expo Worldwide. I was really surprised that our industry uh, had this many people and this many fans. I. I seriously thought like, yeah, it's not gonna be like Germany or Brazil, but for the first year we did a really good job. I, I was pleasantly surprised and I was happy. Last night at uh, Oasis Hookah Lounge, there was a line. We were we were busy. It was really cool. Awesome, thanks. Without you guys, we couldn't have done this. So thanks again for coming out and helping us. For you, anything. Thank you, George. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys. Thanks. See you. It's John again here at Hookah Expo Worldwide, here with Alpaca Bowls and the creator, Omar. How you doing, bud? Good, good. How are you guys? Thanks, John, for having us. So far, it's a great show. Happy to be here. Got some hookahs going. Uh, last night was a great, great turnout at the pool party. John put a great, uh, great gathering together. Pretty much everybody at the show ended up showing up, so that means, you know, created a good little hype. and. I think the Westgate probably had a, a longer going party than they've ever had, but it was it was a good time, so thank you. You got it, thanks for coming. It's guys like you that are supporting this show that are gonna make, we had an excellent first year, and all that means is it's gonna become bigger and better next year when these people see this. So I'm glad you and your crew came. He brought all the, Omar also has a lounge in Huntington Beach called Mirage Hookah Grill. All right, thanks. Um, uh, go check it out if you're in the Huntington Beach area, check it out, they serve Tangiers, you serve Alchemist too. Every most most tobaccos we try to source out. We don't have every flavor by them, but we'll try to find most uh, most of their good flavors and we'll bring them in. Okay. Hey, can you show me a couple of your bowls? Show the guys there. So Tell us about them a little bit, please. We brought uh, at least one or two of each of our models. We got what we're kind of showing off today is uh, everybody's been liking these lipped versions for the uh, for the Cloud Lotus. Uh, so we brought a few of those to show off. We brought the Rook Bowls because those have been really popular. And then we started doing, um, I know you started doing the same thing, but uh, unglazed tops. We released this at TPE last, uh, last year, so this isn't a new thing, but we brought it out this time just to kind of keep the, uh, the trend going on, trying to get people to stain their, their bowls. I think a lot of us bowl manufacturers have found the benefit of uh, bowl staining, and so, I think we've all kind of tried to see what, what the customers think about those unglazed tops and we'll see how those end up coming back uh, coming back from the reviews, how the reviews come back from the customers. Okay, so you caught me off guard with the customer staining their bowl. Can you tell me what that means? I mean, the, the consumer actually does it? Yeah, uh, I think a lot of people have been uh, smoking the same flavors. A lot of people have found kind of what their mix is. So. If you keep smoking that mix out of an unglazed bowl, it's just going to get better. And I think, uh, I think over time, people are going to start switching more to separating bowls according to the flavors they're smoking. Why not? There's so many bowl options out there now that why not have a collection of bowls? For every flavor, yeah. Awesome. Omar, thanks for what you do. Thank you. Thanks for supporting Hook Expo Worldwide, and I'll see you at the next one. Yeah, thank you so much. We'll see you guys. Have a good day. All right, thanks guys, see you later.
All right, guys, it's John here again, now at the Alchemist booth at Hookah Expo Worldwide with Angela. You guys all know her. How are you doing, Angela? Good. How are you guys? Awesome. We're having a great show. You guys did awesome. First thing I want to say about Alchemist, they did so much for the first show. Not only did they set up an amazing booth here with a lot of new products, which she'll tell us about in a bit, last night at the pool party. They brought something like 60 p 65 hookahs or so? 65 hookahs or so, yeah, we brought 65 hookahs. We were planning on bringing like 30, but then we realized how many people came out, yeah. um, especially from the Starbucks party, all the people we saw here. So we upped it to around 65. That's awesome. We had like over 250 people last night. Oh, I believe it, if not more. Yeah. If not more. We had food, drinks, and Alchemist was a huge sponsor of all that. So I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for supporting Hookah thank Expo Worldwide. Thank you for having us. All right. So to business, what's new? What's in the pipe right now? Um, so all the tobacco that we've been expoing today is all of our KFC tobacco and it's been on we've been talking about it for about six months now and it's finally here and we are showcasing four of our flavors grapefruit lime um, peaches and cream and our moonshine mint which is probably the favorite um, of the group uh, we also have our initiate hookah which is a new hookah that we're just releasing it's all CNC made aluminum and the best part is it comes it breaks down into three different sizes or you can buy the adapters to grow it as high as you want so we made one that's about like five feet high nice we'll check that out thanks so much how long have you guys been in business? has it been three years or less no less it's probably uh, we met in what October yeah. so October of this year will be two years Wow. Alchemist a year, is... A year and 10 months now, probably. Nice. Alchemist has come a long way, and thanks again for what you did for us, for coming out, sponsoring everyone, taking care of all of the attendees. That was awesome of you guys. I just hope everyone enjoyed it. They did. Oh, we no, did. That's my biggest concern. I was so worried. I hope everyone, like, had a good time, and I was stressing out, but... I yeah, she wasn't... Actually, she wasn't that fun last night. She was working her butt off. Oh, no. I was about to rip someone's head off, <laughs> to be truthful. Anyways, thanks again, Angela. All right. I really appreciate what you guys did for us here. Thank you. Thank all you for having us. Great good. show. Great Thank show. You. Thank you. Hey guys, John again here at Hookah Expo Worldwide with Ron from Vapor Hookah Lounge in Temecula, California. How you doing, Ron? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you guys. Okay, good. You didn't see my hand out there. Oh, he's hiding something. See, Ron is not an exhibitor here, but he came for the hookah battle. All right, he's, his lounge is representing, and he's got a new product that has not hit the market yet. So tell us about it, Ron. Well, it's called the Phoenix, Phoenix HMD. It's a heat management device, uh, second patent in the USA. And uh, it's a 6061 grade aluminum, fits four coals easily, and it's a funnel concept. I don't know if you guys can see, it's a funnel concept, flat bottom design so that it's easy, easy clean. Um, it's, a, it's a pure, pure smoking experience. I didn't get to try it yet, which I'm going to do now after we're done here. Ron, congratulations on bringing a new product. Um, tell me about Hookah Expo Worldwide and your experience here. It is the first year. What I love about it is that it's open to the public. A lot of uh, people interaction with the exhibitors, with the manufacturers, and uh, and thanks to you, uh, people are loving it. Uh, it's, it's a good turnout. It's an awesome turnout. The pool party was amazing. Two days of full fun and no rest. Awesome. That's Las Vegas for you. But without people like you, uh, I couldn't have made it happen. So thank you for supporting us and coming out. Definitely. The support works in every way and the community needs to grow in that way. We support each other. It's for the love of hookah, which is a social atmosphere, it's a social experience. Thanks, Ron. So if you're in Temecula, go to Vapor Hookah Lounge. Check them out. There's good people. You guys know his staff online and Ron is the man behind the scenes. Thanks and good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, John. Bye. Hey, guys. It's John with hookahjohn.com here again with another brand that you guys may or, not, may or may not be familiar with. But a lot of you hardcore guys know exactly who Prometheus is. Basilios is here with Headquarters Hookah. He's going to tell us about some changes that they have in their product. Well, hello, John. Enjoying the expo. Uh, how about you? Dude, the expo is awesome. I'm going to get your feedback in a little bit. But first, I want to hear about the changes and what you brought to the show with Promethe Prometheus Hookahs. Uh, it looks great. So please tell us about it. All righty. So 2017, we decided to do just a complete revamp on Prometheus. Uh, Prometheus used to be one individual unit, uh, so Prometheus, Demi, and Micron. You can still get them as Prometheus, Demi, and Micron, but a couple changes were made. For example, 100% modular, meaning if you bought the Prometheus, it can break down into a Demi, Micron, or vice versa. Also introducing a new size called the Titan, much larger version of the Prometheus for those who just like obscenely tall hookahs. But um, Besides that, I mean, 
the quality you could never contest how we make it the material uh, the the procedure it's it's fantastic now we did make a couple additional changes because just like John we love to listen to your guys's feedback uh, and things that you guys like so thicker stainless steel larger bore uh, on, on the down stem thicker material overall the, the quality just skyrocketed. We hit a whole new ceiling with Prometheus this year, and it was made available here at the Expo. So everyone got to see it here first. Yeah. You know what I like about this? I actually see the, because we carry Prometheus hookahs, we've sold a lot of them, but it seems like the finish is a lot more, uh, I don't know if luminous is the word, it's just like glowing. No, the finish is definitely a lot more vibrant. With the, with the upgrades to the material, and with our new anodized and laser engraving process, I mean, it just, the colors really pop. That's one of the biggest things we've been hearing. I mean, I I make these things and I can't stop staring at them. So it's a nice change overall. Awesome. Basilios, I want to thank you guys for coming out here. No, thank you for having us, John. This has been fantastic. It's been fun. Yeah, this is the first time show. So um, people like Basilio supported us. And what that means is they care about you. He listened to you with making some changes over the past couple of years. And he came out to show it to you guys. I think you brought with you about 40 Prometheus, which are high-end hookahs. I think you're sold out today, right? Yeah, we brought about 35 of each model, so Prometheus, Demi, Micron, and uh, they all went poof. Awesome. Good. Next year, bring five times as many, because that's what's going to happen. Next year at Hookah Expo Worldwide, we're just going to blow it up. Oh, I believe it. I mean, this proved it all. It's yeah. been fun. You guys missed out. Not everyone. We had a lot of people at the pool party last night. We did. John was in the Speedo. Don't let him lie to you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot, Basilos. Good luck to you. Thanks for coming out. Thank you for having me, John. All right. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next run. Hey, guys. It's John with HookahJohn.com here again at Hookah Expo Worldwide with yet another vendor who came out. Uh, this is Texas Hookah. TexasHookah.com is two things, an online store, and they have a storefront if you're in the Houston area. All right? I'm with uh, Roshan here. How you doing, bud? Good. How are you? Thank you. Excellent. What do you think about Hookah Expo Worldwide? It is fantastic. I mean, one of the best so far that I've been to and the first, obviously, that, that has been to Vegas. So I like it a lot. It's really unique uh, all, seeing all the different brands and, uh, I mean, just commu uh, interacting with all the different vendors and building that report. So it's really great so far. Awesome. So like I said, there's a little plug for them, TexasHookah.com. Check them out. They carry a lot of great products. And like I said, if you're in Houston, get out there. Uh, meet the guys. They're really nice. I want to thank you guys for supporting yeah, us and coming out. Thank you very out. much, John. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right, Rashawn. Have a good uh, rest of the day, all right? Yep. Hey, guys. It's John with HookahJohn.com here again with Shika Hookahs. You guys are all familiar with them. A great traditional brand of hookahs based out of, uh, or that come out of Egypt. All right. I'm here with Ahmad, the owner. You guys know him. How you doing, Ahmad? Hey, good, John. Thank you for having us, and thank you for putting such a great event together. I really appreciate that. I'm so glad that you guys came out and showed everyone here. We had nearly 600 people here that came out for our yep. first show. It's very good. And without people like you, we couldn't have done this. Thank you. It's actually uh, the credit goes to you and for the people who took the risk putting the first show ever out there. And there is always a starting point. I think the turnout was great. We got to connect with people from our community. We got to connect from vendors across the nation. We got to see... Um, new products as well. We got to participate in the hookah battle. So overall, I think it was a great event and the pool party was pretty awesome. So. <laughs> it, was a, it was a great night. Yeah. So tell us, I know you got a lot of new stuff. We're going to take some B-roll of it okay. so you don't have to point at it right now. Okay. Uh, we're going to show it all Perfect. right in a minute here. Yeah, make but, sure to. But all tell right. me about it. Tell me about uh, what's going on in the world of Sheikah. So as you guys know, we're always up for um, innovating new changes, upgrades, and enhancements with our hookah. So we started with version 1 and co came all the way now to version 4.5. So we're maintaining all of our existing models, but we just made more enhancements to better the smoking experience for our uh, users. It's not only the looks, but it's more around functionality as well. So upgraded host ports, upgraded purges, upgraded trays on the electrodes, uh, upgraded uh, painting techniques for our electric stem to show a better shine. And as we know, electroplated brass usually have a nicer glossy look to it. Uh, new uh, vases for our electroplated models. We have a new bowl line. We have uh, upgraded typhoon hoses, portable table, uh, new wind covers. So a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that we're very excited to share with the community. Okay. By the time this video is out, we're going to have all of it in stock, so you can get it at yes, hookahjohn.com or any of the other guys. Is. But I want you guys to really take care of Shika Hookah because they've done a lot for the community thank and they brought some you. beautiful products. So check out the pictures we get of them now. Thank you. Uh, one thing I also want to do, other than thank you, is um, 
is uh, I want to talk. You're sharing a booth here with Trifecta Tobacco, yes. who's a good friend of yours. Yes, yes. Trifecta is a sister company, and um, we love working with Trifecta. I have a feeling we complete each other in terms of quality. So it's always great to bring different parts of the industry together to provide the best experience possible to the end user and the community. Right. You guys have come a long way over the last five years. Thank you Thank for you. participating Thank you, in Thank you this. For doing this. For your Thank support, you. appreciate it. Thank you, Ahmed. Thank you. All right, guys, so we're going to move over. I'm going to see if he's available. I might interrupt him right now. Uh, he's talking to a couple of, uh, we got some social media types over here, yeah. but I want to introduce, hey, you know what? I'm going to just introduce this guy real quick. What's your name? Christian uh, Pennington, hookah chef, whatever, you know. What's up? You guys know who this guy is. Christian Pennington. 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 All right, sorry. Same here, a little sleep, you know. No, it's Vegas, so we're having a good time. So sorry to interrupt you guys, but I wanted to introduce to you guys Moose with. Trifecta Tobacco. How you doing, Moose? Good. How are you, brother? Good, good. good. How's the show going for you so far? It's It's been really good for me. A lot of contacts, a lot of new faces. Uh, we've met a lot of people. People are happy with the hookahs, with the flavors. So it's been great. We picked up a few orders. It's It's been better than I expected. Awesome. I'm, I'm so glad that you guys came out because you are one of the newer companies. It's been about two years now? Three years. Three years for Trifecta Tobacco. The results are in. You guys are a very good seller for us, and a lot of people love your brand. So thanks for bringing it to the market. And thank you for helping us, you know, spreading it around and introducing it to new customers. Okay, anything you want to tell us about new flavors coming out? Yes, we have three new flavors. It's going to be Indian Kheer, which is a pudding with some pawnish uh, okay. notes, uh, very creamy, a touch of coconut. We have lime, and we have raspberry. But we're going to try to pretty much release one every month, you know, just to not have too much pressure on us, you know, to fulfill orders and stuff. But right. Lime is going to be the first one to be released. Awesome, Moose. Thanks for participating in this. I'm glad you did. I appreciate it, buddy. Right. Thank you. Take care. Thank Bye. You, John. Dude, should we keep walking over to Frank over here? This guy is always in the background. Does anybody know who this guy is over here? Let's go over here a little bit, Frank. Uh, you guys know Frank. Frank's actually one of the... Um, one of the um, original social media types with hookah and has been actually part of the industry so not just on social media but in the industry frank what's going on with you today uh not much just uh enjoying vegas yeah. frank is was a vegas resident where do you live now frank i live in san diego now since february and why in the hell would you move to san diego other than it being an awesome city i got my dream job i work for erica tangiers now Awesome, dude. Good. Congratulations on that. That is a huge move. Yep, it is. All right, man. I'll see you around. Hey, by the way, since you're, you're not all business, uh, what do you think of the expo? I like it. For a first consumer expo, I think it turned out well. I'm so used to the regular shows for the business people, and uh, I think uh, year two of uh, Hookah Expo Worldwide will definitely be a lot bigger and a lot better. But as far as year one goes, I think uh, it turned out well. All right. Awesome, thanks. It's always a pleasure to see you, Frank. I appreciate you coming out and helping us out here. Yeah, it's always nice to see you too, John. Thank you, bud. Have a good weekend. All right, thanks, Frank. Hey, guys, John with hookahjohn.com here again with another supporter of Hookah Expo Worldwide. This is Aspire, and this is uh, one of the representatives of Harry, and he's here to tell us a little bit about his product. Harry, thanks for coming. Thank you very much for having us here. We're happy to... Uh, help you guys and promote. I know this is the first Hookah Expo and very very happy to be in here. I mean for the first one to be in Vegas it's a pretty good show with a lot of clientele interested. Uh, what we're presenting it's not maybe like a traditional hookah but we're not targeting to take that market. It's like an, having an alternative for people uh, to have it at the hookah launches or at home. Something different than just a regular hookah. Uh, but the feedback we got from, from all the uh, exhibitors and also clients it was very good a good show thank you for having us here awesome. tell me about your product a little bit what are these glass hookahs I see yeah these are glass hookahs uh, you can use on both ways as a traditional hookah also and if you want to just switch and have like a vape experience also combined with hookah experience we have electronic hookah heads that goes with it also uh, very simple, easy to use but again it's, a, it's an alternative for for someone that wants to have both experience together Excellent. Where can the consumer purchase your product? Uh, they can purchase either directly from us, from our retail site, or for wholesalers, they can buy from our wholesale site. 
or throughout the whole United States, we have multiple wholesalers that carry our products. They can buy from them also. Awesome. What's the website? Uh, it's aspirehookah.com, uh, or if it's corporate side, it will be aspirevapeco.com. Excellent. Harry, thanks for coming out and supporting us. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much for having us. Appreciate it. Thank Have you. a good day. Thanks. All right, guys. John again here with a very dear friend of mine, Neiman with ultimatehookah.com. How are you doing, bro? I'm good. How are you, John? Excellent. Recovering from last night's pool party. I know. Hey, first, I want to thank you for the show and congratulations on the show. It's very good for the customers and good for the hookah community. Thank you so much. You got it. I did it for all of us, and without guys like you, it wouldn't be a reality. Thank you so much, John. Thank you so much. You did a good job. Thanks thank for you. that. So I want to talk about his website, ultimatehookah.com. Go there, check out their products. They've been in the business for maybe seven years now or so, yes, right? Sir. And uh, tell us about your exclusive products. Okay, John, uh, for the show, just we'd like to do something exclusive, like you always uh, like it. So we just released the new stone bowl. It's uh, made out of stone. It's octagon shape. Very good. Very easy to smoke for us. No restrictions. You have to try it out. We just released it for the show and it will be on the site soon this week. Awesome. Thanks for that. Now, this looks just like the massage bowl. What's the difference between this and the massage bowl? Or is this the massage bowl? Well, it is the same design as the massage bowl. Like you know, the octagon is our uh, trademark shape. So what we did, we just made it a little bit less, will hold less shisha than the massage bowl. It's around 20 to 25 gram, and made out of stone like clay, and will distribute the heat way better. Excellent. Congratulations thank on you. the new product. And again, thanks for supporting us at Hookah Thank Expo. you, John. Thank you, and keep doing a good job, and thank you, you so much. Thank you, guys. All right, we'll see you soon. Hey, guys, it's John with hookahjohn.com, and I'm here with a good friend of mine, Sean Collier, and I want to tell you about him a little bit, but first say hello to him. What's going on, everybody? All the way from Austin, Texas and Vegas again. But the only reason I'm here is because of this guy right here holding it down at the Worldwide Hookah Expo. And I was going to keep talking, but I think he has some questions for me, so I'm just going to pass it back. Well, uh, I know you have a lot of followers, and they've been following you on Hookah social media for got to be six or seven years now. I've been doing it for a little bit, yeah. And you're not originally from Austin. You came from another city. Yeah, I was, uh, I was in Detroit, born and raised, and then I moved to Dallas. Um, I went to Austin for like two days and fell in love with the place, and I just had to move down, drop my job and everything, and uh, just went with it. I kept doing my hookah thing, doing reviews, um, uh, doing the magazine at the time, the hookah exclusive magazine, and uh, just really trying to find, find my spot. And um, actually, the last uh, TPE, two TPEs ago, I want to say, um, it was a really good time. I had a lot of fun with my friends and whatnot. I came home and uh, I went to work and it just didn't feel right. And uh, I was like, I got to do something with hookah. And so I quit my job. And uh, luckily, I was able to uh, link up with the people over at Hookah Dash Shisha. So now that's where I'm at. And so you have graciously allowed us to be here. And we are here, Hookah Dash Shisha, at the Worldwide Hookah Expo. So we're just kind of here hanging out with our friends, meeting customers, meeting new people. And this is actually the first time that I've actually hosted a booth. I mean, this is where we met was at shows like this. And it was just me being the reviewer, just trying to get all the photos, get all the new stuff. And then that kind of evolved to now I'm the dude behind the booth. That's it's, right. Yeah, it's crazy. The dude behind the booth. That's yeah. an excellent thing because like I said, or like he said, um, who could ask, or uh, Sean Collier, also known as Smoker, Smoker Pass, uh, just came up in the world. Hookah was his passion, and now he's got a job over at Hookah Dash Shisha. So a lot of times, if you're communicating with them, this is the guy that's behind the computer. Yeah, that, that is me. And um, yeah, we always love feedback. We always love trying to help everyone, no matter what. I mean, some people ask, why are we here? If you're here, we're both the website. But <clears throat> sorry, it was a lot of loud speaking. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry. Uh, both of us being here at the same time, but we both are trying to achieve the same goal, and that's just making sure everyone has the perfect session. But I do want to highlight something for for you because um, one thing that we didn't bring, we didn't bring that many bowls. Um, and so one of the things that was at John's booth was some very, very nice 80 feet bowls, but they weren't the regular size. They're a little bit smaller. And so we've actually been using, sorry, we've been using them on uh, pretty much all of our sessions. Um, we've actually got a bowl going right here, some Tangiers, and they are fantastic. Fantastic. Had a voice screech right there. Um, 
but yeah, fantastic bowls. Um, we've been using them flats, cubes, and it's been a good tester series. So if you need any feedback on your mini 80 feet, the feedback is great job. All right. Sean, thank you for everything. And thank you especially for coming out here and supporting mm -hmm. us. I mean, um, this is the first time show that we're having, and without you, it wouldn't be the same. Oh, man. Well, I'm just glad that you were able to put this together, have something that's available for the consumers. I love seeing the business of business, the guys in the industry, but I want to see the people who are actually enjoying the product, and I want to see that, plus, of course, the regular faces, but I want to see the customers. I want to see new people, new faces, and make new connections. Awesome, Sean. Thanks again. I really appreciate it. Very All right, guys. That was Sean. See you soon. Uh, who do we have here? I don't think anybody knows it. I just picked up a random stranger right here. What's your name? I am uh, Adam. We're here hanging out at the Hukashisha booth. This is a great expo. Thanks, John. Mostly, we're really just promoting jumbo mouth tips, trying to spread the word, practice safe smoking. So that's really our big goal here at this show, is just to share that with people. Hold that out again. That thing, what color? They don't make mouth tips in this color. How long have you been with this mouth tip? <laughs> that's, that's the beautiful thing about these is they're fully washable so you can reuse them over and over you'll get some stain but it's totally fine don't worry about it yeah. <laughs> they're, they're like pennies a piece and he won't throw his away that thing looks like it's about six or seven years old that, that's right <laughs> so, but yeah we're, we're having a good time here thanks for putting this on John so love it you got love it this is hookah and beyond that's right. and uh, he's another guy who came up as just a social media type in hookah had a passion got a job was a business owner now works for hookah Dash Shisha. Uh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, it's a great gig. It's uh, really nice to be able to do what be doing what I love every day. And uh, yeah, if you're out there and you enjoy hookah, definitely uh, you know pursue it even as a career. You know, do what you love. I mean, so many of us here have, and uh, it's just a really good time. Meet great people. Awesome. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. Thank you, John. Hey guys, it's John with hookahjohn.com here at Hookah Expo Worldwide with yet another supporter of this project. Jim with Ugly Hookah is here. I want to say hello and thank you, Jim. Hi, John. How are you? I'm good. Jim is a shy type of guy, but he has got an amazing mind, an amazing product. Not only does he have ugly hookah, he has a hookah lounge in Tenley, Illinois called Hollywood Hookah. How's that going? Tenley Park. Tenley Park, Illinois. As you can tell, I'm not from there, but Tenley Park, Illinois. Um, tell us about the hookah lounge. Well, the hookah lounge features um, mainly the ugly hookah brand. We do have other brands as well. If uh, the customer wants to smoke something, it's his preference. But uh, we're doing great. Uh, it's a very busy lounge, yeah. and Ugly's doing very well over there. That's good. Ugly is a brand. If you haven't heard about it, they've been out for about a year and a half, two years now? No, we uh, established the company in 2013. 2013. Okay, Hookah John's math is always off. But they've been around, and they are up and coming. And so far, the numbers are in. You're doing great. The sales are great with Ugly. The customer feedback is great. So give them a shot. Go to my website hookahjohn.com go to any of the other websites that you see in this video get your hands on some ugly all right uh jim tell me about uh these these what are these well this is part of our image they're just uh, hookah covers and we wanted uh, our hookahs to uh, be exclusive to our brand and the best way to do that is to put your own image your own cover on it so it's consistent with our logos our theme they're absolutely beautiful. Will these be available for sale? Uh, not anytime soon. <laughs> All right, but they look great. So we're going to show them some shots of this and of your product. Any new uh, flavors coming out? I do have some flavors coming out. I'm uh, going to be releasing them gradually. Uh, I'm not going to mention anything now. <laughs> He's always Jim is always quiet. He's always secretive, but his product is great. And uh, I appreciate you being here at the expo and what you're doing for our community. Yeah, this expo was a great idea. Actually, it's better than I expected. You know, uh, it's phenomenal. I like this. I like seeing everybody. And I think we're going to have a great, great expo next year. You did very well marketing this. Thanks, Jim. Without you, we couldn't have done this. So thanks for being here and supporting all of us. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye. All right, guys. This is Hookah John here again with another great booth that came out. These guys came all the way from Frankfurt, Germany. This is um, Dubaco. I've been trying it all weekend. It's excellent. I want to thank them for coming out. Ashok, here, how are you doing? Very good, John. Very good, very good John. Thanks I'm for very excited to be here at the show. This is our first show to putting up in the market. Excellent, yeah, and they came all the way from Germany with Keiko, who lives in Frankfurt, where I was a few months ago. And I would like uh, one of you guys to tell me a little bit about your product. This is, um, this is the Monster. We have uh, four different uh, lemon, and um, 
His taste is very good. We are do this inside the, the best lemon what we have. And uh, yeah, you must taste it. You yeah. must taste it. It's a very good. Let me know, what did you think about Hookah Expo Worldwide coming out here from Germany? Um, this is, this is um, very, how, how can I say this? Um, very exciting is a very most people I uh, we meet most people from the nether and um, it's very interesting I'm, I'm very happy I'm here and um, also this is the first expo we are doing in this country yes, so the first the expo that they're doing in the US they came like I said uh, do you do other expos in Germany yes. yeah in, in Frankfurt yeah we do it in Frankfurt and in, in Berlin in, in Mini and, uh, and many cities and now we are in the States we hope Guys, thank you for supporting Hookah Expo Worldwide. Thanks for coming all the way out here. Thank you. Thank you for being with us, okay? You got it. You got it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Let's, uh, uh, if, when you see this brand in the U.S., definitely check it out, okay? Thanks. Hey, guys. John with hookahjohn.com here again at the Zomo booth. What the hell is Zomo? They just hit the scene. They just hit the scene like in the last few months. They've been coming up. They're from Paraguay. Maz from Hookah Junkie. Loves that brand. He's smoking it all day. He's helping them. He's supporting them, repping them. We got Nasser here. Zahra Hookah is also uh, the exclusive importer of Zomo, right? Correct, yes. Okay. Uh, what do you want to tell us about this brand? Well, uh, you know, this Zomo is like uh, John was saying. It's a brand new, uh, brand new brand in the USA. Zomo uh, been in the market in the hookah industry. F since 2015, uh, they mainly sell into Latin America. Uh, according to the you know data we have, they're number one tobacco brand in Latin America now, Zomo. So Somebody actually did tell me that. Yes. So in fact, you know, everybody you know uh, telling us that Zomo is the most popular brand in Latin America. So we thought you know to bring it to the USA, and now you know Zomo is uh, you know expanding worldwide. They're going into Russia. I'm sure you probably saw them in Russia. Yes, I did. I did see them there. And also, you saw them in Germany. Yeah. yeah and uh, they're expanding worldwide. They're going to the Middle East next, and uh, hopefully in the USA will do well, like Latin America. Excellent. So I'm going to uh, sit here and relax. It's been a long day already. We're doing great. We're getting to everyone. Before I relax and try this out, I want to ask you your opinion. Actually, first, I want to thank you guys for exhibiting at Hookah Expo Worldwide. This is the first show of its kind in the U.S., the first show for all of us. And um, I want to thank you for your support thank and coming you. out here. I said, what do you think of the show, though? How's your expectations? Well, let me be honest with you. You know, first we were debating not exhibit or not exhibit. And uh, after, you know, talking to a few people, we decided let's go and exhibit and try it. And it turns out to be like one of the best shows for us. You know, it, it still is the number, the first consumer event or show. But uh, yesterday we had over 200 people came to the booth and tried the flavors. And today it's a kind of decent uh, crowd, but uh, everybody's loving the flavor. Yeah. I love the show. It turns out really good. I really appreciate it, John. Thank you. Thank you, Nasser, for helping out. And without you guys, it wouldn't have been the same. And so th thanks for you. coming. Thank you. So I'm about to sign out. Keep the fa camera rolling right now because I want to say something. And um, uh, thank you guys again. I'm going to sit down, relax, and smoke this. But for now... I'm going to cut it out, stay on, stay on and do a, um, start going this way. I want you to pan out and get all, there's, stay low and get the whole place because there's a lot of people, um, if you want to zoom all the way over to Chica and keep going right, slowly going right, watch out for Anthony, get out of the way for Anthony and show all the people here because it looks really good right now. It looks like a nice crowd for B-roll or for just ending out this scene. Right, right, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so now we can try this. I haven't been this. Hey guys, John with hookahjohn.com here. I want to walk and talk with this guy right here. This is the main guy in the USA for El Fakir Hookah Tobacco. He works for Sierra Network. Very, very good friend of mine. This is Tony. Let's walk. Tony, thanks for having us here. How are you oh, doing? Th thank you for having us here. Yeah, all right. So I want to really thank El Fakir for coming here, making such a huge an interesting booth and presence at Hookah Expo Worldwide. Hookah, uh, El Fakir is probably the biggest brand in the world when it comes to hookah tobacco. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So Tony is a good friend of ours. He's always helped out. He's always supported Hookah John and they supported this expo. They are the biggest brand here. Thanks, Tony. You're welcome. John, you've done a lot for uh, this industry. You deserve everybody uh, to support you with whatever you're doing. 
Thank you very much. You got it, Tony. Thanks a lot. Uh, what did you think of the expo? Let's walk this way. I want to get some. Uh, I did this booth is so big that I want to make sure we get all of it covered. Actually, uh, for the first year, I, I love it. I love yep. it. I'm gonna be. If you make it next year, I'm gonna be here for sure. Nice. Uh, for sure, guarantee. And I will advise everybody to be here. Excellent. Thanks. I know you got some of the big guys here from overseas, exactly. and um, they were really impressed with the presence that we have here. And thank you again, Tony. Thank you so much. Thank you, John. By the way, I love this beard. I'm trying to do the same myself. You like it? Yeah, look, you look like Sons of Anarchy. You have a Harley Davidson? Uh, I wish. You wish? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks again. Big, big thanks to El Fakir, uh, the biggest sponsor here. Everyone did a good job. Everyone supporting yeah. us. No, everybody actually having fun. It's a beautiful show. Amazing. This is for the greater good. And you know what I appreciate also about El Fakir doing this? They're so big in the world that they didn't really need to come down and suit the consumer from a business standpoint but i think they realize the consumer is so appreciative that you came and set up for them this is our target it's the consumer nice. without the consumer we don't have a business anywhere exactly thanks and thank the people who are making el Fakir, the guys in the um in the factory tell them hookah john says thank you for sure All for right, sure Johnny. thank you so much john thank you bud. I'll see you.